let us come back and start with your 2009 paper so 2009 paper they have given two questions again there's a choice question let us do that so 2009 paper again they've given structures as well as complete the following and there's a reason also given all together they've combined and very nice interesting paper this is so in 2009 paper they've asked complete the following reaction so i did the hydrolysis of xenon again i'll be doing it here just see now <clears throat> whenever you find such reactions simple try to pick up two moles of this it's easy for you remember so the first thing hf would come out now, along with that there's a cleavage of the bond here xenon also would come out that after uh, this what else is left oxygen combines to form oxygen gas so here two so two xenons here hydrogen you have two twos of four so try to make four then fluorine is already four oxygen is two isn't it this is a balanced reaction now next question phosphine plus hgl hg mercury chloride i did it in video number 38 now I draw the structures both the structures are done under 99 in video number and 100 next come back account for the following ammonia is a stronger base than phosphine i did this in video number 25 please watch that video next sulfur has a greatest tendency for catenation than oxygen this video also was done under video number 64 next comes fluorine is a stronger oxidizing agent than chlorine so this is done under video number 89 so almost all the questions have covered that is the reason i'm asking you to go through the videos carefully let's come back and do the leftover part of 2009 right. let's come back and do the uh, part b of a 2009 paper what do they give us explain the following in the structure of hno3 okay the NO bond is 121 picometer and shorter than NOH bond is it okay so basically when we call something is shorter we have a criteria single bond double bond triple bond so when I compare these two what do you observe this is a double bond character and double bond O now this is a single bond so obviously isn't it so why is this shorter just write the answer due to double bond double bond character in n o bond that's it if you write this word this double by this let means this double bond character no no bond that's it this explains the whole concept and then let me come back to this all pcl bonds are not equivalent in pcl5 okay the question is in pcl5 all are not equivalent why so when i have to draw the structure of this just see phosphorus in the center you have five chlorines how are they arranged one chlorine longer this is also longer these are called axial bonds the left over three one is distributed here one two and three i already did this video please watch that and you're joining them okay join them in this way now these are called equatorial bonds axial bond length is when i see this it is 242 picometer and equatorial is a 202 picometer now they're asking why is it different so simple what should you write that in axial bonds there are electronic repulsions because of this electronic repulsions the bond length has increased and automatically you're finding that difference between two how should you put in that word try to draw the structure first and write the answer uh, axial bonds are longer than equatorial bonds why due to due to repulsions the lone pair of repulsions that's it this is your answer then draw that structure and draw this data also please this is also important that. Next question, ICL is more reactive than I2. Okay, ICL is basically an interhalogen compound, combination of two. More reactive than iodine. So what is the most important thing? It is more reactive, why? Due to the difference in electronegativity between both. Here in I2, there is no concept of electronegativity, isn't it? Two similar atoms. Here, why is ICL more reactive? Your answer should be due to electronegativity difference between iodine and chlorine so because of that there is a pull in the electron pair and it automatically it becomes more reactive 